Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Daniel. This is morning tea. Cheers. How's everybody doing today? Mm. Yummy, yummy. It is Wednesday, December 14, 2011. I hope you're having a, a great week. It's a hump day. We're almost at the end. And after, okay, so it's, uh, it's a 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 days to my birthday. I have not been keeping countdown. But December 26, 2011, I will be uh, 41 years old, guys. I will be 41. And again, if you are out there eager to put me on a birthday list, all I want for my birthday this year is a tune-up for my car. Because every time I save the money, something comes up. And uh, So if you are, uh, work, if you work on cars, if you're a mechanic and you want to donate a... Uh, Tune up to my car. I will buy the stuff that you need if you can just do it for me or help me or show me. What you know? What I'm big. I'm, I, oh, I've always talked about showing how to fish. If you are able to show me for my birthday, if you want to show me how to do a tune up on my car, that would be awesome. I would buy everything and I will even cook lunch for Hitas. And then you can also get a reading. Oh my God, it's like a gift. I'm gonna give you a gift for giving me a gift. If you can show me how to do a tune up on my car. I will buy the parts. I will buy you. I will make you lunch, and I will do a reading for you. And uh, so that's that's my that's what I want for my birthday. I want to learn how to make. I want to learn how to do a tune up on my car. There, that's it. Good, good one. Let's start, folks. Today I want to talk about. Um, you know, we're, we're getting we get close to the end of the year. New Year's is coming up, and we talk about resolutions. And, and every year, the, and it's on the news, and people all over start talking about their New, new Year's resolutions, New Year's resolutions. New Year. One of the things that I have noticed, and I think that I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on doing this year, is before I even, because come on, let's face it, between us, let, let, let's be really honest, between us, we never really make our resolutions last, do we? If you are out there and you have actually made a resolution, got to the end of the year, completed that goal, I want to hear from you. I, I want to hear from you because I want to I want to tell people on on video who and what you did and how you did it. Um, but for those of us who I start working out at the beginning of the year and then three weeks later I forget and I start working out and the diet is out the window because I started munching on all the leftover food. So this year before I go on my on my resolution list, I'm going to work on a let go list. And my let go list, instead of resolutions, my let go list, what are the things from 2011 that I need to let go of? What are the stuff that are holding me back from moving forward? Because if I still have issues with, if food is still my comfort zone when I am upset, then I need to find out what little things make me upset so that I don't go there. Otherwise, it's not going to work. If I have issues with uh, fear of, of, of speaking in, in public, if I have fear of um, work, quitting my job and starting a new venture, if I then starting my own business in 2012 is not a, it's not going to work out because I still have those fears from the year before. Does that make sense? So rather than making a New Year's resolution list before we get to that. Let's make a what do I need to get rid of list. I will say for me, I would I need to get rid of procrastinating. I I fear being let down. I fear not completing something, so I just don't start it. So I need to take those steps. For instance, I I, I finally took that first step and started the Spanish uh, morning team. Una taza, una taza de té. Um, you can also find it here on YouTube or on Facebook. And. Um, it was that step. So now I've got to move forward with my film. I have this film project that I've been talking to you guys forever and it just keeps delaying. It's my own personal issue. I've got to move forward. I didn't raise the money I wanted before and I'm afraid I'm not going to do it again. So that's keeping me from moving forward. So before I can say I want to be a famous writer in 2012, well, I've got to let go of that fear that keeps me from writing or I'm not going to move forward. It's, it's you know, it's, it's like, one, it's like a bad yin yang, it, it, yin and yang, you know, it, one blocks the other, it's just pointless. So, I encourage you, I suggest, I push you forward in creating this, I need to get rid of this, the, the what do we call it, uh, I'll have to go back in the video and, and remember what I said, but it's the, uh, 
the knockdown list. It's, it's the what am I going to get rid of list, the get rid of list. What do I need to get rid of in 2011 before the year ends so that my resolutions and my new goals and my new dreams can come through in 2012? Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, we all have a couple of little baggage. Now, I've said it before and I say it to my friends. If you are over the age of 30 and you don't have baggage, where have you been? We all have some baggage. We've all created, if you've dated, if you've lived with somebody, if you've been married and divorced, if you've had jobs, if you have friends that you don't talk to, we all have some baggage that we carry around. But there's baggage that we just don't need anymore. And we just carry around because we're so used to carrying around and it just makes us comfortable to know that that's as far as we're going to go, that they limit us. So I want to get rid of that baggage so that I can see how much further I can go. So I, my, my goal is to get the stuff that I need done for my film and I, I will I promise you guys that I will launch my Indiegogo page within the next two days I will launch um, I will finish my script again and then submit it to the director to Lauren so that he can look at it and um, so that you guys can see me through this you guys have seen me through a lot in the last year so um, push me I need to be pushed too sometimes okay so let's go with something in here. We got it again, guys. Persistence. And I guess what a great way to talk about today. It's being persistent. Uh, it's, we got this yesterday for the dreams, correct? So we got it again today. It's persistent. It's, it's being persistent and letting go of those fears and those anxieties and the things that keep us back. We are our own worst enemy sometimes. People may be encouraging around us. People may be cheering us on. And we have like tons of people just going, go, Daniel, go. But if I don't move... I'm never going to get to the finish line. So I will cheer you on, you cheer me on, and let's together get to the finish line and finish this year off right with a little less baggage than we started off. And then next year we have room for some new stuff. We're going to pick up some new stuff. So, but maybe together we can we can make it work. Ugh, I love this one in the morning. You are gorgeous. Thank you very much. Even with my... Uh, do you guys see the progression of my hair over the videos? Over, or as, as time goes on, my hair just kind of grows and changes. Uh, I went back and checked on some of the my, on YouTube and checked my hair. How do you look at me in the mornings? How and, and I wonder why I'm single because I look horrible in the morning. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, today, I want to shout out to my two nephews, Robert and Albert, out in uh, Texas. Congratulations, guys, on not smoking. Uh, I believe I just read in his, in his page uh, that he has not been smoking for one whole week. They both been quit for one whole week. I'm so proud of you guys. I quit smoking about four years ago after rehab, and I have not been any happier. Uh, food tastes better. I, I, I assure you that as time goes on, your food is going to taste better. So with that said, um, thank you, guys. Enjoy your Wednesday. Enjoy your tea, enjoy your coffee. Have a great one. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you tomorrow.